Canada and the United States enjoy the most important, largest economic partnership in the world. We have, uh, I have, have a, I've had a uh, free trade agreement since uh, the FTA in the 80s, then it grew into NAFTA uh, about 22 years ago. Uh, Canada has been very satisfied with its relationship with the United States. We have a, a trade balance with the United States, and uh, we have, through those trade agreements, seen a great deal of supply chains establish themselves uh, in North America. And we, my government, firmly believes that uh, we are stronger together. We, become, we are more competitive globally with a very strong backyard that's well integrated. Uh, with some of the discussions that have surrounded the presidential campaign in the United States and since the uh, inauguration of President Trump, we have intensified our uh, discussions with the new government uh, to try to interpret what um, they mean by wanting to renegotiate NAFTA. And Prime Minister Trudeau was recently in uh, the American capital to meet with the president, and we are very hopeful that we have um, in the United States still the long-standing partner that we've always had. There was a real appreciation on the part of the president of the importance of Canada, the fairness in our trade, and the willingness to grow it so that we can create more jobs uh, both on both sides of the border uh, together. Um, so moving forward, we have some, some work to do. If there's going to be modernization of aspects of NAFTA, we have to start talking about it more seriously. But I think we feel, Canada feels, uh, that we are on very good footing to bring the relationship to a whole no new level, uh, despite perhaps what um, I've been seen as uh, negative talk on trade up until now. We really feel that we have, uh, with the new administration, um, uh, a group of individuals that are willing to listen and that are fully appreciative of the relationship. So we look forward to working with them. There is a very little known fact, and it's that not only is Canada uh, the number one trading partner uh, of Tennessee, we're your number one customer, and we buy more from Tennessee than you buy from us. Um, the big question is, how come that's not better known? Well, part of it is some of that, those contacts happen very much behind the scenes. We are very active in the advanced manufacturing industries, and a lot of our companies don't have foreign sounding names. So it's easy not to know uh, that uh, Canada uh, investment and, 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 uh, and uh, purchasing power, it generates 170,000 jobs in the state. That is a significant number. Um, and that we together trade uh, billions of dollars annually. In fact, there's more trade between um, Tennessee and Canada than Canada has with all of France, uh, and uh, just as an example. So it's a massive relationship, and it's one that needs to be nurtured, and it can still grow. Uh, so my office, uh, the Consul General of Canada based out of Atlanta, which is responsible for six states, including Tennessee, works on many initiatives to foster that growth. One of those is women in uh, entrepreneurship. We strongly believe that if more women-led, uh, women-owned companies export, um, they will create more prosperity for, uh, for your state. So we're working very hard on bringing more women-led, women-owned companies to the trading table because at the end of the day, uh, market access and growth of markets and, and consumer base is the secret. So we believe in that partnership and my office is available. Um, we do do seminars on doing business with Canada and we spend a great deal of time um, ex educating uh, American businesses on opportunities that they may have both to export or either invest in Canada when they want, it ex when they want to expand.